During combustion, chemical bonds in the fuel, such as hydrocarbons in wood or gasoline, break as the fuel combines with oxygen to form new bonds in combustion products like carbon dioxide and water. The overall result is welcome. Today we're going over the first law of thermodynamics. If this piques your interest, stick around. Thermodynamics is a branch of physics that deals with the relationships between heat, energy, and work, thereby studying the principles governing the behavior of matter and energy transformations in various systems. The first law in thermodynamics is the law of conservation of energy, which states energy cannot be created or destroyed in an isolated system, but it can change forms, transferring between the system and its surroundings. Therefore, all the forms of energy we learned about in Unit 5.1 can be interchanged, but the energy itself is never destroyed. Now let's see how this law plays out in real-world world scenarios. Remember, energy exists in two main forms, kinetic energy associated with motion and potential energy associated with position. Now let's imagine these energies at play within a system with exothermic and endothermic processes. Picture a chemical reaction where bonds are broken and formed. If the overall result releases energy into the surroundings, it's an exothermic process. A great example of this is fire. Fire, also known as combustion, is a type of exothermic reaction which occurs when a substance reacts with oxygen, releasing energy in the form of heat and light. During combustion, chemical bonds in the fuel, such as hydrocarbons in wood or gasoline, break as the fuel combines with oxygen to form new bonds in combustion products like carbon dioxide and water. The overall result is a release of energy driven by the rearrangement of the chemical bonds. The first law tells us that even though the chemical bonds change, the total energy within the system and its surroundings remains constant. Now consider a process where energy is absorbed from the surroundings. This is an endothermic process. For this, let's use the example of the melting of ice that involves the absorption of heat from its surroundings. This is considered a phase transition in which the solid ice, a well-defined structure of water molecules held in a crystal lattice, transforms into liquid water. During melting, the water molecules are held together by strong hydrogen bonds and other intermolecular forces. As heat is applied, this energy breaks these intermolecular forces between the molecules in the ice lattice. The absorbed energy increases the kinetic energy of the water molecules, which disrupts the organized structure of the solid crystal lattice. Once the kinetic energy overcomes the intermolecular forces holding the molecules together, the ice transitions to a liquid state. The water molecules are now free to move around each other, resulting in the characteristic flow of water. Keep in mind that the energy is absorbed from the surroundings, which therefore causes the surroundings to cool. This phenomenon is fundamental to our everyday experience, such as when ice melts in a drink. Despite the system taking in energy, the total energy is equal and conserved, therefore ensuring the first law. Whether it's an exothermic reaction warming your hands or an endothermic reaction cooling a beverage, the first law is always at work, ensuring the total energy of the system and its surroundings remains constant. I hope this explanation helps. And if you have any further questions, feel free to ask. If you found value in the video, please like it and let people know about the channel because it really does help spread the knowledge. Based on what you learned, think about the following question. Label each of the following as either endothermic or exothermic processes. The evaporation of sweat, freezing of water, human breathing, dissolving salt in water. Thank you so much for spending your valuable time learning and bettering yourself. If you like the video and want to learn more, donate, or get tutoring, please check out my website, nocollegeneeded.org. You can use the code NCN for 20% off tutoring and any supplemental materials.